watching James Tang I discovered that this is a ground for fighting. Uh, when I visited St. James Town, I think uh, I didn't like the place. I just discovered that uh, St. James Town is um, uh, like Hong Kong very much. Mm. Because I remember that the first day I came here and they take some photos, I just see a bad guy uh, bullying a little kid uh, at the basketball court. Because uh, I think the air is poor here and the people just walking around with low smile, I think that's sad and the buildings are, are old and I think this, this place is hopeless. Because there are many uh, multi-level buildings uh, and also uh, the living standard. I realized that the living standard inside uh, St. James Town is not as, as wealthy as uh, downtown side. And I, I find that um, although the kids are beaten up, he's fighting against the bully. He's standing for that. And other than the kids, the others here are fighting for their lives, fighting the, for their rights. I changed my mind. I think at least that the people, especially the youth, they are not hopeless. As long as they are provided with enough help, I think they can do something. It's a, a relatively backward area in Toronto. It is a light bulb that it helps lighten the way uh, of the kids in coming through them. I mean, um, it helps lighten the ground around the kids so to let them know what they can do in the future. Thank you. Youth for Change is amazing. <laughs> My first impression about Youth for Change is a very meaningful project. Uh, Youth for Change never tells people uh, what they must do, but what they should do. You always have a chance, you always have a choice, and you can make a choice for what you want to do in the future. The people are come from different countries, uh, they have different cultures and different ages. There are no such, uh, such kind of project in Hong Kong to uh, help the St. James Town or help a particular district uh, people to, uh, to merge into the Toronto living style, culture, something like that. Uh, it provides a lot of uh, chance. It can let some people to express their message within their heart. Um, some of them do not know arts may express their message through their guns and their feet. And while the artists would use the music and the paints. And that obviously we can see that for such a creative culture, the crime rate and the violence rate is lower. Every person can use his own creativity to, to change the world. A better world needs creative culture because you can see uh, many kinds of uh, innovations, uh, inventive things have come from create, create creative culture. When I go back to Hong Kong, I will start to rethink um, who am I and what I should do for my community in Hong Kong. Because Hong Kong is a materialistic society and that everyone just think about themselves and the money they earn. But uh, for now, after the experience in Yuma Change, I have to think about uh, how I can use the money to help the people around us. I learned how to communicate with different kinds of people. And the most important thing is that I should respect other people. It makes me think more about, uh, about uh, what should be. What should the policy be inside a city to help those community people? And also, I think working in for Change is a, is a funny experience because it's so lively. Um, all the times, there are many challenges, many things to do. Uh, and I really treasure the freedom, freedom here. Uh, not only in Youth for Change, also in Canada.